Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is maximum count of positive integer and negative integer. So in this question, we are given an input array nums which is sorted in non-decreasing order that is ascending order and we need to return the maximum between the number of positive integers and the number of negative in integers present inside the input array nums. And a note is mentioned that zero is neither negative nor positive. This is the function given to us. This is a function name and we are given an input array nums of integer data type so this nums array contains integers and we need to return an integer variable as the output now let's take a look at a few examples and see how this problem can be solved so let's take a look at this example one i've drawn the example here and we have the array in ascending order now we need to iterate the array from left to right starting from zero till five using a for loop now let's create two counter variables which will count the number of negative numbers and the second counter will count the number of positive numbers so let's declare those variables i'm going to call them negative and positive respectively I've declared both of them and initialized it to the value 0 because initially they have the count of 0. Now i is pointing here and the element at i index position is a negative number. So increment the variable. Let's move on. Increment the i pointer. The element at i index position is also a negative number. So increment the negative variable. So it is having the count 2 now. Let's move on. i is now pointing here. That is also a negative number. So increment the negative variable. Let's move on. i is pointing here. And the element at i index position is a positive number. So increment the positive variable. Let's increment i. i is now pointing here at the fourth index position. And the element there is a positive number. So increment the positive variable by 1. So positive is now having the value 2. Now increment i i is now at the last index position which is pointing at a positive number so increment the positive variable and now increment i we have reached the end of the array so we end the iteration and now outside the for loop we have to find out the maximum of these two variables so the maximum of these two variables so max of 3 comma 3 is 3 so 3 is our expected output and that we return it now let's take a look at the code I'm declaring the two variables negative and positive and iterating the input nums from 0th index position till the end of the array and this I'm checking if that number at i index position is a negative number and in the else if block I'm checking if that number is a positive number. I'm using else if because I can't use else because if I use else it will also count 0 as a positive number so I'm checking this condition here. If that number nums of i is greater than 0 then only increment the positive variable and finally I'm returning the max of negative and positive. Here in the second example you can see that there are three negative numbers so negative equal to 3 and there are two positive numbers positive equal to 2 and these two zeros are ignored they are not counted because 0 is neither positive nor negative. So among these two max of 3 comma 2 equal to 3 because there are three negative numbers so you return that as the output. The time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the number of elements inside the array nums and the space complexity is constant because we are not using any extra space to find out the output. That's it guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.